Hello guys and welcome to this new Power BI tutorial. In this video, I'm going to create the following interactive dashboard which is about customer personality analysis. So this analysis is based on a marketing strategy which is called the four P's. So the four P's are product, price, place and promotion. So as you can see, we are going to create different charts. So we have average income by education, average income by marital status, customers by marital status and total kids at home, customers by year of birth, we have purchase place, the different products, customers by marital status, customers by compliance, customers by education. But before start creating our dashboard, let's first explore our data set. So here we have our data set and you can find this link in the description to download it. And as you can read here, customer personality analysis is a detailed analysis of a company's ideal customers. It helps business to better understand its customers and makes it easier for them to modify products according to the specific needs, behaviors, and concerns of different type of customers. So for the columns, we have the ID, so customer's unique identifier, year of birth, education, marital status, the income, so yearly household income, kids at home, number of teenagers at home, so we have date of customer's enrollment with the company, recency, and complaint. Whereas for the products, we have mainly six. So we have wine, fruits, meat, fish, sweet products, and gold products. Whereas for the promotion, we have a number of purchases made without a discount. Then here we have the different campaigns and we have the response. Next for the place, we have a number of purchases made through the company's website, a catalog, in stores, and finally, we have a number of visits to company's website in the last month. So now let's start creating our different charts. So here I have created a new project. And the first thing that we are going to do is to import our data. So click on Get Data, Text CSV, Connect. We click on Load. Okay, so once we have imported data, we can see all of the columns in here. And the first thing that we are going to do is to modify the complaint column by changing zero to no and one to yes. So to do that, we click in here, transform data. We go to transform. And we go to the complaint column. We change the type to text, replace. And we change the values. So replace values. Zero will be no. And one will be yes. OK. Now, once you save that, you need to give it a name. So I gave it the name marketing project and you click on apply. Now we close that. Do you want to apply your changes? Yes. So here we have modified our column and now I'm going to change the background. So we click in here, background, color, more colors, and we write the following code. 1F2630 and transparency 0%. Okay, now we have our background. Now I'm going to create our first chart, which is the average salary by education. To do that, we select clustered bar chart. We select education and income as the average. Okay, now I'm going to modify that. Okay, so we can put it like this. First thing to do is to change the background to the same color. The border will be with the following color. So we write the following code 9EA0A5, rounded corners 20. All right, for the title, we have average income by education will be the center with the same color. 
in bold all right now back to here y axis we remove the title we select the same color bold and same thing for the x axis so we remove the title and the values will be with the same color in bold all right now for the bars we select the same color and we remove the grid lines okay so like that we have our first chart which is average income by education we can also add the labels so the labels on and we select the same color in bold okay next we have the average income by marital status so copy this one put it in here and instead of education we put marital status okay so we change the title so instead of education we have marital status okay next we have customers by year of birth so same thing we copy paste this one and we change it into clustered column chart we remove this one remove this one we select year of birth on the x-axis and on the y-axis we are going to select the count of it okay so here we have our chart we remove the labels and also the grid lines all right next we have customers by marital status and total kids at home so copy paste this one and we remove this one we remove this one on the x-axis we select marital status and on the y-axis we have total kids at home all right so we can change the titles this one it will be customers by year of birth okay and this one it will be customers by marital status and kids at home okay we can also add the labels to this chart so go to visualizations the labels on okay next we are going to create three donut charts so one for customers by education another one for complaints and also by marital status so we copy this one okay just put it like that and we change it to donut chart so we remove this one and we select the id all right and we remove the legend for the labels we select category percent of total okay and for the slices we can change into the following colors for example we can choose this one next three okay and the title it will be customers by education okay so i remove this one okay the next one it will be customers by complaint so copy paste this one you can put it like that and instead of education we can select the campaign and also we can change the title so 
we have complain and also the color so for the slices for example we can select this one and this one okay and the next one it will be customers by marital stars okay so decrease like that instead of complain we select the marital stars so same thing we can change the colors example married we select this one together this one it's up to you to change the colors that you want so this is just to define some colors for different slices all right so like that we have our three donut charts next we are going to create two pie charts so we can copy this one put it here and we select pie chart so remove this one remove this one and this will be for the purchase place so we can select the catalog store and web okay so we can change this one so click in here rename for this visual and we select catalog purchases okay same thing for the second one it would be store and that one it will be the web so the name it will be the web okay change the title select purchase places and same thing we can change the colors so for slices for example the first one it will be this color second one this color and third one this color okay so we copy this one copy paste and the last one it will be the products so rename it to products and for example we can select the fish just to remove this one so remove everything and we select fish fruits cold products meat and sweet products for example same thing we can change the title or the names so the first one it will be fish second one fruits gold products we have meat and sweet okay same thing we can change the colors first one for example it would be this one second one okay so if we close everything we get our final dashboard for the customer personality analysis so that's it for this tutorial i hope that you have learned new things thanks for watching and see you in next tutorial